each of the points a negative 4 0 negative 1 B 3 1 negative 5 and C 2 4 6 is closest to the YZ plane which point lies in the XZ plane so when this problem says YZ plane we need to realize that in the YZ plane X equals 0 so 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 0 negative 3 4 lies in the yz plane 0 6 negative 42 lies in the yz plane as long as x equals 0 that point is in the yz plane so when we look at the points we don't need to consider y and z because both of those lie in the yz plane so let's look at the three points we have a, negative 4, 0, negative 1, b, 3, 1, negative 5, and c, 2, 4, 6. So remembering that anything composed of like 0, y, z's, and x, y, if we get to find the distance, we just need to look at each x component and the difference between what is in the x and zero. And since it's distance, we can uh, take the absolute value of that. So for A, we can see it's zero minus four, which is four. So it's four units away for A. For B, zero minus three, which is three units away. And then for C, it's 0 minus 2, which is 2 units away. So we can say that point C is closest to the YZ plane. And I just want to drive this point like uh, more, that when x equals 0, it's in the YZ plane. And we're going to look at the a uh, 3D graph of this. So we have all our three points, A, B, and C, C in this 3, 3D uh, coordinate axes. We have the, the X, Y, and Z, and C equation here, X equals zero. This creates the YZ plane. So you can see how we have the Z axis, Y axis, and we have this plane that these two axes make. And if we're going to look at the distance, you can see that whatever the y, z direction doesn't matter because once we have x equals 0, or once we have y, z equals 0, you can see that x is the only thing affecting the distance. So if we're going to draw, find the distance between them, we can just create segments. Essentially what we just did algebraically, in which everyone has the shortest segment is the one that's closest to the yz plane. And as you can see, we found c was two units away. And you can look here, c is also two units away. So let's go back to the problem. So the second part of this question is, which point lies in the xz plane? So in the xz plane, is when y equals 0. So whichever point has a 0 for the y component lies in the xz plane. And if you look at our three points, we can see that point A has a 0 in its y component. So point A lies in x, z plane. And if you go back to our graph, we can, uh, we can visualize this even more. So let's get rid of uh, these segments. And 
y equals 0 and you can see x the plane and if you look you can see that point A is in that plane and C and B are not in the plane and you can do the same thing if you were trying to find the distances that we did previously you can see that only point A is in that plane.